So, there are two options you can take. You can take this road and hike. Lots with, of rocks. With all the stairs. Or you can be the lazy one and take the lift. There's my dad. Wave! We're obviously being athletic today. He said, huh? we're lucky to take the bus. Yeah, lucky we took a bus here. Yeah. So we can have an easy time climbing these stairs and the rocky roads, <laughs> rocky hills, whatever you call it. <laughs> Welcome to Baltic World. I'm Charlene. And in this episode, we are finally made it to get a Minas Tower. Here is my dad. Say hello. 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 <laughs> and as tradition, we have brought in some snacks. And mum's here too. <laughs> we have trekked it up here. Yes. How have you found Vilnius so far? Oh, it's excellent. This city is a very big city, mm -hmm. but not as busy as what I thought like uh, in uh, Singapore or, or Kuala Lumpur or somewhere in Europe it's not as busy yeah Vilnius is definitely bigger than all the other Lithuanian cities we've been to but of course the population is way less even in the summer time although it's starting to rain so hence raincoat <laughs> you've never actually been to the Baltic before has it exceeded met your expectations was it was it like you expected? How does it compare to other European countries that you've travelled to? I, I would thought it looked like a rural area and no building at all, like forests and still underdeveloped. Oh, but, really? Why is that? Why did you think it was underdeveloped? Oh, we, we never heard about this uh, Baltic uh, world or Baltic countries. So, but at the time when I arrived, oh, wow, uh, something that different. It looked like a lot of uh, place been developed. And the road system, they, they, I think they uh, make a very good road system and all the uh, thing quite organized. Yeah, it's funny. The fact that there are some technologies here that we don't even have in Australia. For instance, your bus system is excellent. We don't have an app. We <laughs> have to use old fashioned cards and you can actively track your buses where we have to kind of guesswork. So there's a lot of different innovations here in Vilnius and Lithuania and broadly the Baltic that we just don't have. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, but a lot of old buses look like uh, Second World War buses uh, still around on the city. I don't know whether they want to keep it as... <laughs> as uh, heritage? Her heritage. Okay, so I want to take this opportunity. We have some snacks. <laughs> we basically went to Iki and I asked you guys for recommendations and I got a few. So we've got these... I'm pronounce them really badly. Link to si chai, these ones. They're like mushroom, chocolate mushrooms. Do you want to open this one? Yes. We went to Traka and it was beautiful. Although, this is the first summer I've been to in the Baltic. And man, it gets hot. Your insulation is so good. Oh, oh great. wow. Have a try. Look at the mushroom. It's so cute. <laughs> I don't know if they're for children or <laughs> probably. Do you want to try one? Yeah, okay, why not? Sure it well. is definitely look like a mushroom. Yeah, it is mushroom. <laughs> we can cut this out. Hold up. Yeah, not too bad. There's a biscuit stuck on the bottom mm -hmm. and with a mushroom head. Yeah. There's a bit of chocolate on top. I can imagine this to be at parties. Mm. Chocolate on the top. Yeah, with a mushroom head, exactly. It's pretty early in the morning, so we're basically having chocolate for breakfast, but that's okay, we're on holiday. <laughs> Alright. Uh, anything else? Next. Me? I've got this Nomeda. I think it's chocolate. Maybe I just bought a bunch of dessert without even realising. And it is Sardanus. It's very bright. I had to get it in like the way yourself aisle. Uh, maybe people buy more than one, but I just bought the one. So let's open this one up. Okay. Those chocolate mushrooms kind of remind me of the Australian tiny teddies that we've got with chocolate on the bottom. It's uh, actually a chocolate bar, like what we have. Hmm, looks like chocolate. Looks like uh, caramel in it, I think. 
I think so, yeah. Sharing is caring. No, just for guys. Look good. It looks good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. See? A bit of nut inside. Mm. And with a bit of... Um, this is really good. <laughs> Yeah, I can't I can't describe it like a honey actually not honey, uh, like a, a what do you call the lemon lemon sort of uh, lemon what what lemon called peel. lemon peel um, in between mm -hmm. yeah mixed with the nuts and sort of it could be like ground nuts or mm -hmm. some sort of nuts yeah definitely it's it's like a lemon peel with ground nuts chocolate and biscuit mm. it's all right you know it's good. Mm -hmm. Something that different. This is definitely different. So we've been here for a, a little while. Has anything in the Baltic stood out to you? It per, um, pertained to its history and culture. Have you learned anything new? Yeah, the, a bit of different. Like uh, uh, more or less, it's not like Australia sort of mixed culture. Everything. It, it looked like uh, if you don't pay much attention on that, uh, pay pay much, uh, you will see that it look like it's only one sort of uh, uh, races in in mm -hmm. Baltic. Everything. Not many people speak English, mm -hmm. so that's 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 one thing. Well, the older generation don't speak English, but the yeah, younger generation younger definitely generation do. All they don't speak English, so uh, it, it looked like. Uh, it's a one country, you know, sort of, there's not many races here. So what you're saying is, because Australia is so multicultural, obviously we come from Malaysia, we've immigrated to Australia, you'll have like Indian, you'll, get, you'll just get many, many different cultures in Australia. Uh, whereas Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia, more or less, are more like monocultural like yeah not 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 such a multicultural uh, yeah. uh, country less immigration uh, yes as, exactly a yeah. lot more locals that actually exactly. stay in the city you hardly seen any other races like indian or chinese and the, we are very 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 minority chinese here only three of us look look like here today <laughs> yeah. i think so i think we do look very alien because you go to many big cities and this is the capital city many capital cities in europe are now cosmopolitan, so they've just got all across the world different uh, ethnicities and cultures. Whereas here, it's very much so that you can still go to any restaurant and it is authentic Lithuanian or authentic Estonian and all that. Yeah. You, you you still can communicate with them. Uh, the restaurant, the waiter and waitress, they might speak a literally English, but some of them can understand a bit more. It could be they learn English uh, in their own uh, like uh, school and sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So there's no problem communication. I, I can't see any problem on that here. Uh, just you have to take your time. That's it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And have you enjoyed like the food as well? I know you've said there's like a ton of potato here. Yes, I think they are more based on all the carbohydrate. It's the potato is their main dishes, and also plus a lot of salad. Mm -hmm. And uh, the the one that I, I found is something interesting, which they make sauce of food like uh, we we Malaysian they call curry puff. It's just like all the we mixed with the meat, blanched with the yeah. potato sort of thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, I do uh, find they're like almost Asian cuisines in here, but with like an European spin on it. This is what was recommended to me. Skalsus, it's the tree cake. So people have said that this is something that many Lithuanians eat during Christmas time. And how they make this is like, they have to put it on a very high heat and then they slowly like drip the, the mixture onto like this long pole. Uh, so open this up for me. Okay. This was the smallest one I could find in Iki. You can get massive tree cakes. Oh, it's so it's cute. Well, well displayed, you know, yeah. well painted. Oh, so cute. I have no idea what this tastes like. It kind of looks, oh, it's okay, it's like a cake, like a biscuit cake, maybe. It, it looked like, uh, oh. 
It looks like a Christmas tree. That's yeah, right it looks like Christmas tree, like a pie tree, and then chopped in a half, mm. <laughs> in a, like a trunk, you know? Yeah. Pie tree trunk. All right, let's try to open this. I can't. I'm really happy that you guys enjoyed the first vlog. My mum's still here, obviously. If you have any questions for her, let us know down below. Want to break a piece off? Do you want to break a piece off? <laughs> I don't know how we're going to eat this. Maybe you actually have to cut it, but we don't have that. We are going to do it this way. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> DIY style. Yeah, you had to break it off. Ah, All right. Some can have some. You have to have some to try. Okay. Ready? Oh. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Like a cookie, huh? This is cooking quite dry. You need a microphone. I can't hear you. Mm. Yeah, like a like a cookies, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, almost like gingerbread, but not quite. Yeah, not quite. Quite soft, and also uh, very flowery. Yeah, it look like yeah, when you bite it. Huh? It reminds me of like a really dense cake. But it's it, like a cookie. It's definitely cookie, but not as hard as a cookie. Mm -hmm. It's a bit soft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have this with anything? I feel like I want to dip it in something. Like more chocolate or something. Mm. Pass the mic to mum. Yeah, thank you everyone for uh, watching and uh, <coughs> comment on our videos. And it, actually, it was my first time in. It's quite. It's not easy to do, as you know. <laughs> it, it's pretty um, nerve-wracking. Try to take something on the camera. Yeah, she's an absolute natural. So, and your <laughs> comments are so kind. Also, glad that you guys are supporting this kind of ad hoc vlog, as our plans kind of had changed last minute. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. All right. So I've got another question here. Is would you recommend? your friends and other family visit the Baltic and come here, a bar? I would say so. Is this just a good, And why? Yeah, it's a good experience. It, especially somebody who stay in the uh, big city, will never come up, you know, always see the high-rise building and uh, live in soft, soft, like a pigeonhole sort of apartment. Mm -hmm. The best thing is come over here, just to experience with you a mixture like. of nature and also some sort of old building. So you can learn a lot of things here, especially the history and all sort of thing. Okay, so we've talked about a lot of positive things and now I'm going to keep going, make it spicy. Is there anything that you, you don't like about traveling here? Don't like the traveling here. Uh, it's a bit too far away. <laughs> too it's, far. It's, Ask a reverse question, like why don't you come to Australia? They, what did they say? They say so far. <laughs> no one know about these places mm. after the Soviet Union, uh, you know. Mm. So it, it looked like a hidden uh, treasure, treasure here. Mm. And many people just, I think, they more focus on the big city, you know. Who, who will know who, where, where Lithuania and also Latvia and, and, and sort of places, you know? They more focus like uh, Singapore, you know, or China, you know, sort why, of things. Why are they focusing on those countries and not the Baltic? Oh, they got a lot of the activity going on there, politically very unstable, people more pay attention on that, mm. and the Taiwan issue, and even... Ukraine, very famous now in the world. Yeah. And I think with the Ukraine war, despite it being a terrible war, and I can't wait till it finishes where we win, is that it has brought more attention to Eastern Europe. I think many people didn't even know where Eastern Europe was prior to the war. So that's also been kind of a positive thing and also highlighting the importance of independence, freedom and the threat of being invaded, how you don't have these things like NATO. So, I'm running out of battery. Got to quickly eat these before we... Oh, and all that, another drinks here. What's that? Oh, okay. We've you got the drinks. Yeah, we got this drink. So... Show that the drink. This is only cheap. 
we've got this drink. It's the only drink I could find. And I couldn't only find the small one, so I got the big one. And it is birch water. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If I correct that wrong. <laughs> um, if I got that. And I think you get it straight from the birch tree. So it's in a glass bottle. It's super heavy. I hiked it up this, so I hope this is worthwhile. <laughs> you want to open it for okay. me? It's apparently very traditional in Lithuania. It's a very Lithuanian drink. Um, Does it taste like water or something tastes else? Like a lemonade. Very light lemonade. Oh, yeah, and I've also got a flavoured one, so I wasn't sure which flavour to get. I basically chose it based on how many bottles were on the shelf, and this one had the least bottles on the shelf. So, you want to try me? Lemonade. A bit like lemonade, but not gassy. Oh. People who do not like gas, this is a drink to go. I think it's more for me because I'm, I, I can't drink very gassy drinks. So, a bit of watery, lemonade water, I can tell that. Mm. Okay, interesting. See that mild lemonade, hey? Hmm, it actually does taste like I'm drinking out of a tree. <laughs> Just a bit. It's good though. Yeah, good. It's like, it tastes like flavoured water. But I think... Add, add a bit of lemon inside, something like that. Huh? Yeah, they've obviously flavoured it. Flavoured, yeah. flavoured. But it's not bad. So there you go. Some tree water. <laughs> oh my gosh. Quickly, quickly. We're, we're competing against the rain. But it's okay. I think this is like authentic Lithuanian weather where it's like cold, miserable. <laughs> Open these. Oven bake chanterelle in sour cream. There are a couple other chip yeah, brands chip. to try as well. It's so just like a chip. I don't know if this is actual Lithuanian. I've seen this brand so many other places. Yeah, this is this is actually not very curly chip. Mm. In in Australia, we always get a chip which is very curly looking. These are really know. good too. Yeah, this this is not bad. The chip. These are kind of the chips where you don't want to have it right in front of you, otherwise the packet's gone like after two minutes. Mm. You'll find that we're non-stop eating this. In front of TV. Yeah. 50% less fat. Mm. Alright, well there you go guys. These are really good snacks. If you have any other snack recommendations, please let me know. I'm going to do a part two. Okay. Or part three. This is a part two of our Get A Meter Snack Adventure. And we will see you next time. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye.